Hey guys, Lodicus here. Human Fall Flat had a title update today, which is called Miniature. This is adding another four achievements and 160 gamer score. Once you load into the miniature level, what you want to do is jump onto the top of this fire truck. And then we have to shorten the ladder so we can get it out from underneath the chair. Because at the moment, at the current length, the chair leg is currently in the way. If you interact with this lever on the right hand side, spin it round anti-clockwise and it should shorten the ladder. Once it's short enough, we can then move to the right hand side and then turn this ladder to the right. Once we've turned it to the right, we want to line it up with the duct tape that's currently hanging from the desk above. I'll line it up best you can. You can always tweak it later on. And then we head over to the levers on the right hand side and this was the time we turning it clockwise to extend the ladder right up against the duct tape. Once it's long enough we can then jump onto the duct tape and swing across to the desk. So make your way up the fight ladder. As you approach the top extend your arms into the air ready to grab the duct tape. Jump off the top and hopefully you should grab the duct tape. Then using the momentum in your swing, you should be able to land on the lower shelf of this desk, just on top of this saw. Now make your way to the top of the desk. You will need to jump over onto this worktop here. Pull yourself up. And then what you want to do is do a 180. Again, we're going to run and jump on top of these boxes and then climb up this little toolbox. And then there's a piece of wood hanging down. Pull yourself up onto this one and this should get you onto the top of the workbench. You can ignore this box and this paint can. I do go over to check to see if you can push it at all, but it's not necessary for this walkthrough. What we're interested in here is this anvil. What we want to do is turn this anti-clockwise to open the anvil up, and what this is going to drop is a hammerhead onto the crowbar below, in turn, this opens the box, giving us a little bridge to cross over to the next section. From here, you can jump down, pull yourself up onto this box, and then head over this bridge. Over here, we should be able to get the top shelf achievement, which is reaching the highest platform above the power drill. What you want to do is pick up this bucket or can, and then take it up to the red button on the power drill. And as you've guessed here, we're going to push it against the red button. So the power drill is constantly on. This is a little tricky to get right, but just keep picking it up and shuffling it along until it's tucked nicely against the red button and you hear that power drill on. I found the best way to flick yourself up onto the top shelf here is to jump onto the drill, preferably with one hand. This will then spin you around and around and hopefully the momentum should then throw you onto the shelf above. This did take me six or seven attempts to get right. It's all about the timing of letting go and getting you flung up onto the shelf. Once you're up to the next shelf up, what we want to do is climb on top of these tool chests and then head up this ruler that's pointing out of this red tool chest. Gingerly walk across this, making sure you don't fall turn around 180 and then what we're going to do is jump and pull ourselves up to the top shelf although this is the top shelf the achievement doesn't pop until you pull yourself up a little higher so grab the side of this box pull yourself up and that should pop the achievement for top shelf from here we now need to make our way into the next section which will get the spotless clean achievement for cleaning up all the ash from the side of this box we're just going to move around the back and then what we can do from here is do a running jump and we should land on the shelf in front of us. From here, we can then make our way up to this windowsill. Stretch those arms up and pull yourself up. Once we've stepped outside of the window, there's a little crack in this drain pipe on the right hand side. We're just going to drop down that. And then this is the next section where we need to use the hoover to hoover up the ash. To get up to the higher level, we need to use this spatula that's hanging down from this rail. Pull yourself up into this cupboard area, come to the back side of the spatula, grab it with both hands, and then what we're going to do is drag this spatula up all these boxes and obstacles. And then once you get to the top, you can see that there's a green hatch above. What we're actually going to do is use this spatula as a ramp so we can get up there. 
Once we get to the top level, you can leave this on top of this flat surface here. Walk up the spatula and then you should be able to pull yourself up to the top level. From here, we're going to move around to the right hand side. We're going to jump and swing on these spoons, land on this tray and then move over to the next tray after that. And then what we have to do here is drop down into this drawer that's slightly open. So if you hug the wall or the unit, you should be able to drop into the drawer. Pull yourself up again and then we're going through this green hatch above. This should move us around the back of this pan that was in the way. And then we can do a big jump straight onto the top of the hoover. Climb up and then move this red button to the down position and that should switch on the hoover. Now we can safely jump down. And what we want to do is grab the hoover nozzle at the very end with two hands. And then we just need to point it towards these couple of pieces of ash that are on the floor. So there's one here where we first dropped in. There's one a little closer to the hoover. So just walk over here and suck that up. And then the last piece of ash we need is just opposite that one on the other side of the hoover. Once you suck that one up, you should get the achievement for spotless clean for hoovering up all the ash. What we then need to do is get this hoover into the oven area or that grid or grate that we can see over there. So I was trying to untangle the hoover here so I could actually move it round. There's the spotless clean achievement. Get this hoover nozzle pointed into this oven or grate here, which is full of ash. Get it as close as you can to the ash pile. And then I found just dropping the hoover nozzle was enough to hoover it up. And then we can squeeze through a little gap that appears in the grate. This will move us into the next area. This next area doesn't actually have any achievements related to it. So this is going to be purely a walkthrough on how to move on to the next area as quick as possible. So once you've climbed up here on your left hand side, there will be a Jeep. We'll ignore this for now. What we want to do is hug this grass on the right hand side. You'll find a little rock here. And what we're going to do is use this rock to jump over this fence, pull yourself over, and then we're in the dinosaur enclosure. Over here, there is a controller, which we can use to control the crane above us. What we want to do is grab the lever and push it to the left. Push the lever to the left hand side and the crane should start turning to the right. Let that roll around as far as it goes and then it should knock down this ramp that you can see here. We're going to use that ramp to climb up shortly. Just watch the crane slowly move round and knock down that ramp. Once the ramp's knocked down, what we need to do is move the crane a little further round to the right. So now the ramp's down, grab the lever again. Move it to the right a little bit and then we want to move it so it's just at the end of the white house, roughly there. And then as we drop down here, we're going to need a battery. So pull this battery out of this controller. Bit awkward, but if you manage to get two hands on it, you should be able to pull it out with relative ease. There we go. The battery's finally out. And then as you guessed it, we're going to climb up this ramp, jump through this cage. And then there's a little circular roof we can land on just on the side of this cage. Mind you, don't fall. Jump onto that, jump over the wall, and then we're back in this section where the Jeep is. We're going to need two batteries to control this Jeep. One was missing, and the other one is beside it. So we'll put that one in we got from the dinosaur enclosure in there, and then here's the other battery that's just sat beside it. Found it easier to knock the battery over onto its side, then pick it up and pop it in. When it's ready to use, the green light should come on. Pull yourself up onto the top of the controller, push this left stick forward to move the car forward. And then this right hand stick or lever makes the car move left or right. We want to guide it through the gate and then put the car in this bottom left corner, just where these wooden logs finish. Down here, there is going to be a piece of rope that we're going to attach to the front of the car. 
and this is going to pop a tennis ball out the wall revealing a hole which we can move on to the next area. Once we're happy that the car is far enough forward towards the rope and the tennis ball what we can do is jump down pull the rope towards you so you can grab the loop at the end and then it's a little bit tricky but what we want to do is put the loop over the front of the tow bar on the jeep try and get some height on it and then drop it down from above and voila it's now on again we're going to head back up to the controller and we're going to put the car or the jeep in reverse this is going to pull the tennis ball out of the wall and then we can proceed into the next area so head up to the controller again and then all we're going to do is interact with the left lever here and we're going to stick the car in reverse. That's going to pop the tennis ball out of the wall and then we can proceed. This next area is the pond. In here we're going to need some matches to light a boat and make the boat spin round. So just grab one of these matches here. We're just going to move this further down the hill. Before we can light the match we need to find something to set it ablaze. So what we're going to do is take this axe from this garden gnome. Knock him over, release the axe and then grab it with two hands. There is a sunflower here that is blocking the sunlight on this magnifying glass. What we're going to do is quickly chop down this sunflower by just rubbing the axe against it. Four or five chops and that should fall down. And then if you turn around that magnifying glass is now lit a piece of log so we're going to just go back and grab this match we're going to light the match and then run as quickly as possible back up the hill the match doesn't stay lit for long you've maybe got 10 15 seconds before it runs out so you need to do this as quickly as possible scoot your way back up the hill and then what we want to do is drop this match onto this other match and that's going to light that one grab that one and then as quickly as possible we're going to head over to the pond and then on the boat there is a candle that we need to light and this is going to make the boat move around in a circular motion as we get to the lily pads we want to jump off onto the lily pads onto the next one and then this fountain here is going to launch us up to this fishing rod bobber once you've grabbed that what we want to do is use the momentum to swing forward and backwards and the idea is to jump on this brick wall just above the pond. So once you've got enough momentum, just simply left go and you should be able to land on top of the wall. This next section is where we're going to get the floor is lava achievement. But first of all, we need to knock all those blocks down that are on the top of the crate. So first of all, I'm going to try and get this flat brick that's on top of the flower pot. Move this one a little bit closer and then what you want to do is try and grab that and pull it down. Didn't quite have the height here so I need to get a little bit higher. Jump up, grab that and pull it down. Now we need to try and get on the top of this wooden crate. So first of all I'm going to use this flat piece here to get on top of this black box. This can be a little bit tricky to get aligned but trial and error you should get there in the end. And this should provide a decent ramp to get on top of the black box. Once that's set, grab this other block because we're going to need this to get on top of the wooden crate. Jump your way up here and then lay this block right alongside the wooden crate. Get to the highest point of the block as possible so you can pull yourself up. It wasn't quite high enough here. For whatever reason, my dog only appears to have one leg. But we're still managing so what you want to do is shuffle these blocks all down onto the red tiles below and then we're going to use these for the floor is lava achievement which of course is not touching the red bricks or floor tiles so continue pushing these off we're going to use the majority of these bricks for the achievement so it's best to get them all on the floor and then i'm going to show you what kind of arrangement you need to put them in to get the achievement. So now they're all on the floor, we can jump down and start arranging the blocks. First of all, I suggest getting the flat one, which we used initially to get on top of that black box. You'll see why we're picking the flat one in just a second, because there is a hole under this box here 
that you can only really get the flat one through. And within this crate is the bag of soil. So this is our starting point for the floor is lava achievement. What you want to do is get this block nice and flat. And then what we're going to do is initially jump onto that and make our way through the hole. Let's go and grab a few more blocks now. The rest is entirely up to you, but for me, I picked up this angular block or ramp block next, and then I'm going to put that just outside the hole. You want to set them up in such a fashion that you don't touch any of the red tiles. Now going to get another block. I'm going to pop this one between the ramp and this uh, flower pot that's fallen on its sides. So the idea here is that I'm going to jump from that brick onto the flower pot. Use the flower pot as a, another potential ramp to keep me off the floor. Just ensuring I can make the gap, I'm going to put another little brick in here as well. Just going to make sure that's leveled off just so I don't fall. Because these things do tend to rock when you jump on them. So I'm just leveling that out nicely there. And then I'm going to grab this tall one and I'm going to stand this up next to the bucket. We don't need to use the bucket for the floor as lava achievement. I'm just setting up an exit for once we've got the achievement because that blue bucket is the way out of this section or area. So I'm just setting that up in the meantime. Put those two blocks there. Happy with those. I should be able to jump from that flower pot onto these and then climb up onto the bucket once we finish with the floor is lava achievement. Now continue on. We're going to build another path towards this black box in the corner where we started. So I'm going to put a long block here. And then grow and grab this other long block. Put that next to that. Grab this one here, just making a really long bridge, which we can utilize. Pop this little ramp one. I'm actually going to use this ramp one to get on top of the black box because we removed the previous ramp. Put that tight against that, that should be enough. And then I've spied this other long ramp and then I'm going to put that between these two. And that should be our path that we're going to take to get the floor is lava achievement. So I'm now going to attempt it. I'm going to go back under here. And then what we're going to do is jump on top of this soil. I do a little hop with my one leg to show you I'm starting. Climb on these bricks. Do your best not to land on the tiles. On that brick. And we're going to jump onto this flower pot. That's fallen over. Onto this brick, and then we're going to take our right here, hop across these, and then climb onto the black box here. And we did have a ramp set up earlier on. Get to the very top, or highest point as possible. Pull yourself up, and then as you get to the far end of the box here, the achievement should pop for the floor is lava. We're now done in this section. So what we're going to do is jump down and climb on top of that blue sandcastle pot. Jump down and then use this brick that I set up earlier to pull yourself up. Onto the sand and then into the very last zone where we should shortly exit. In this last zone what we need to do is knock down the sandcastle wall. The easiest way to do this is pull this foot pump to this pipe orange pipe on this left hand side plug that in and then what you want to do is pull yourself up and jump up and down a couple of times this is going to blow up a balloon inside the crate and in turn lift the crate so we can get inside once inside we just want to grab one of these rockets pull that out from underneath the crate and then we're going to head over to this platform in the middle here that's yellow and black we want to pull this down and then what we want to do is place the rocket on the end of that. 
This backside of the rocket here where the fins are is a hole. We want to try and slip that onto the top of here. A little bit tricky. And then what you want to do is then put it in the upright position. So pull it back as far as it'll go. So it's pointing towards the castle. It's best grabbing it from the base. There we go. And then to launch this rocket, what we need to do is then take that foot pump again. So head back over here and we want to pull out the orange tube initially. And then we'll drag the foot pump over to now the rocket launch pad. And as you can see there, there's another orange tube that we need to place inside. And then this should launch the rocket. To launch the rocket, I found the best method was not pulling yourself up onto the foot pump because that just gives you a short burst of air. I found the best method was to jump onto the black lip on the edge of the foot pump and then jump onto the top. That seemed to give the rocket a big burst of air and launched it into the castle, destroying the wall. If for whatever reason it doesn't work on your first attempt, you can just keep going in and retrieving rockets and try and try again until you get it right. What we want to then do is go to the left, climb up this stone and then jump across onto the other side. Move yourself down the side of this lolly stick fence, climb over the wall that we've just broke and then jump inside the sandcastle to get our final achievement, small fish, big pond for completing miniature. I hope you found this video guide useful. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.